Hey, it's Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are on to the Dynamic Blocks follow along. So this one should be uh, pretty fun because it's uh, quite a powerful feature. Um, so what I've done is I've created a new folder here called Dynamic Blocks. I'm going to make a new file here. As always, it's going to be main.tf. And a really good example for this would probably be um, an AWS security group just because there's all those ingress and out, uh, outgress uh, or egress rules. So what we're gonna do is just define our Terraform settings block. And I'm just gonna pull up over here and make our way over to the registry for Terraform. And what we're gonna do is go over to the AWS provider and um, go to the documentation. And actually I first wanna grab the provider itself because that is something very easy that we can do here. We'll just move that on over so we can see what we're doing and paste that on in. And uh, we're going to have to define our provider, of course. So we'll name that as AWS. The profile is going to be default. And our region will be US East 1. Okay, and so now what we need is to go create ourselves a security group. So we have, of course, done that uh, uh, previously here, but let's pull up the uh, documentation here. I believe it was actually under VPC. So let's just go down to VPC here and we will expand that. And then underneath here, there should be an AWS security group. Uh, there it is. And if we scroll on down, there's the thing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is copy uh, this code here and go over uh, and we'll just paste that on in. And there is our security group. So um, I remember that we had to have the description. If you remember, it complained about that. So outgoing for everyone. And uh, we need to also have a few additional things. We will just scroll on down here because it wanted the prefix list IDs. Okay. Remember we needed that. Um, I think there was like self false. And there was like security groups. I think it was actually AWS security groups in particular. Let's just double check to make sure that is the case. It is called, uh, oh, it's just security groups, okay. So, let's say self equals false. We do not need CIDR block four here, or six. Um, we do not need this one here. And it doesn't really matter what we set this to. So it could be set to the main CIDR block, that's totally fine. Uh, but we are going to need to add a data source uh, just like last time uh, for the VPC. So let's say VPC, we'll call that main. And I think it just needed the VPC ID. It was as simple as that. And so we will go over to AWS, over to um, VPC. And from there, we are going to go to our VPCs and I will go grab that VPC ID. Okay, so we've grabbed our VPC ID and then we just need to name this as data. And then we're gonna name this as data. We don't really care what the CIDR block is. It's just, again, for um, this demo purposes, we don't need tags, we'll take those out. And, um, yeah, everything else is fine. Okay, so this now comes to the fact that we want to uh, use dynamic blocks. Before we do that, let's just, well, I think I didn't leave the console there last, but what we'll do here is just do our Terraform init. And as that is pulling that stuff, we're gonna look up dynamic blocks. Uh, Terraform. So we'll go here. And so dynamic blocks is like way more powerful than um, the for each, where what we can do, I'm just trying to uh, find that example there, but we have, uh, we have to set the dy uh, dynamic part, the for each. You know what, I'm pretty sure I have these in my slides. So let's just use my slides as the reference here. Dynamic, ah, here it is, okay. so. The idea is that we'll just set up a locals with all of our information here, and then we'll create this dynamic block and then provide the content, okay? So I'm just gonna move that off screen so I can see what I am doing here as we type it in, and we'll see if we run into any problems. Um, failed to query the available provider for packages, could not retrieve the list of available versions for the provider. 
Um, not have a provider registry, Terraform name. All modules should specify the required providers. So I'm not sure why it's complaining here, but we'll scroll all the way to the top. And the required providers is correctly set here. So it shouldn't be a problem. Not sure what it doesn't like. Um, so we'll just type in Terraform providers here. The VPC. Um, is VPC a module? You know what? It's probably because I didn't do AWS VPC. That's probably my problem here. Terraform init. And as that's thinking there, we'll just pull this on down and we'll start to make our locals block. Okay, so we can go here, make some locals, and we'll do our ingress. And we'll just go like that. And the idea is we can say port, whoops. We can set the port like that, 443. Uh, we have to always have a description, so we'll just set that as well. So port 443, we can set as much as we want here. So I'll just go ahead and enter. Okay. And I think that looks right. Yeah, so we have one ingress here, and then we'll just copy this and make a comma. VS Code's not really formatting the way I want it to, and so we'll do port 80. And then down below, we will need to specify our um, for each, okay? So that's going to be within our dynamic block. So what we're gonna do is tab in here, and we're gonna say dynamic. And we'll type in ingress, because that's a match for what we're doing. Um, and then from there, we can do our for each equals local ingress. And then we need to specify our content. I don't really understand why it's called content and things like that, but I just know that that's what we have to do. And it's not really that big of a deal. Um, so we'll go here and paste that in. We can take out our ingress, ingress block there. Uh, we know we're going to need self, these all here, but what's going to change are these ports. So we will go here and we'll say ingress value port. And this will also be ingress value port. And then this will be ingress uh, value description. If we really wanted to, we could also set the uh, protocol. Protocol. Pro. To call. And this could be then TCP. And so we would just say ingress value protocol. So it just saves us from repeating these over and over again if they're all the same. There's a lot you can do with uh, dynamic blocks, but honestly, you shouldn't do anything too crazy. We'll do our Terraform plan and see if this works. Whoops. Bring that up there. Um, an argument VPC ID is not expected here. Okay, so that is me just guessing from memory. And I guess I guessed wrong. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just look that up. Database VPC data source Terraform. Oh, it's just ID. Okay. So what we'll do is just set ID here. And then we'll just hit plan again. And that should resolve our issue there. Uh, inappropriate value for attribute egress security groups is required. Okay. That's fine. Well, this one uh, it says, doesn't say... Uh, Security groups, and this one doesn't say security groups, so that's probably our problem here. So we'll just ter hit Terraform plan again. And here it says this v VPC ID does not exist. Probably what happened is I might be in the wrong region. It's a very common problem on AWS just because of the way their UI works. 
if I can get this window over here. And so this is because we're in US East, we're supposed to be in US East 1 here. And I'm going to go up to here. We will save that. I'm going to hit Terraform Plan. And we could probably like use the filter and also just say choose the default, but it's just so easy to put that in like that. Um, so doesn't seem like we have any problems here. So let's go ahead and execute it. Let's just double check to make sure these values are correct. So for the ingress, um, port 443, port 443, it's probably just because I didn't update the description. Probably because of a copy paste job, yep. Okay, and let's just make sure this works. So we'll say Terraform, apply, auto approve. And we'll give it a moment. And it's already created, so it's that fast. We can go here and take a look at it if we like. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so we should see it in here. I just have so many uh, junk security groups here. It's just a bit hard to find. Oh, allow TLS is what we called it. So here it is. Go to our inbound rules, 80443. And that's pretty much it. So. Terraform, apply, destroy, auto approve. Okay. And there we go.